All right, all right, everybody. Let's take a quick minute to welcome Alpha Cat Zingano back into the win column. She's back into the win column tonight with her decision win, unanimous decision win over Marion Raynaud. Now, this whole fight card is full of a bunch of bullshit matchups where, you know, Darren Elkins had to fight Alexander Volkanovsky, even though he was on, he, even though he was six and zero. Oh. You know, he, he was on a, a six fight win streak, six and zero oh in his last six. Marion Raynaud had to take this fight, even though she was unbeaten for the last four fights. The thing is, she signed the contract. They had to go ahead for this fight. The problem is, I knew that Kat Zingano, if she just put her head in the game, that she would be able to beat Marion Reno. Marion Reno did all the things that I really didn't want her to do. You know, Marion Reno's got hands, man. She's got some serious hands. She does. She was she was actually she was cracking Reno. I mean, she was cracking Zingano with that straight right. Really cracking Zingano. And it's like, you know, the thing, the problem with MMA is, it's not a problem, I'm sorry, but the thing about MMA is you have to have a mixed game. You may be able to have hands. You need to put something else with it. Okay, you put together the jujitsu. But now you need to put something else with it. You really need to have about four or five tools in the toolbox. The problem is, I said, look, uh, Marion Reno needs to throw some leg kicks. Throw some leg kicks and also initiate the takedown and stuff takedowns. Stuff takedowns and then you initiate the takedown. It was just very easy. You could tell that um, Kat Zingano had easily read her game So because there's just not much to it. Not much to Marion Reno's game. It was developing. It's still developing, actually. It's still developing. Her hands are getting heavier and heavier and heavier. And it's really tough to sit down on your punches in MMA. But Mari Reynaud has really developed that part of her game. She knows how to really get in quick, sit down on her punch and just crack, you know, and just absolutely crack. But the problem is, the thing about Mari Reynaud is Mari Reynaud does not care about going to the ground because she feels like she's better than everybody on the ground. And if it was a grappling tournament, she would be. But it's not a grappling tournament. She actually is better than a lot of people on the ground. It's just not a grappling tournament. So you have to stuff takedowns so that people don't score a, you know, points on you. It's easy to sit down on your punches in MMA because the thing is, as soon as you, as soon as you literally plant your feet, basically that's what I'm saying. Like when you plant your feet to throw up, to, to throw a um. A, a solid strike, you can get taken down. You know, that's why a lot of people pop and move, pop and move, pop and move. That's why JJ fights the way that she does because she absolutely does not want to get taken down. Most of her game is is um, striking and takedown defense. That's JJ's game. And that's why she throws pot shots because she can't sit down on her punches because she's just not good on the ground. She doesn't feel confident about going to the ground. Mario Reno feels very confident about going to the ground, so she plants her feet and she throws strikes. But... She needs to start doing certain things. As soon as you plant your feet and you throw a good strike, you need to immediately get ready to go and sprawl. Sprawl! You know, that's just basic takedown defense. Sprawl or grab for the underhook. Grab those underhooks and lift that person up. Or if you're near the cage, push that person's head down. Just keep pushing their head down. When people are going that deep for a takedown, you know, Kat Zingano is not the type of person that um, she doesn't, she's not a, she's no pussy when it comes to those takedowns. She really isn't. She will dig for a takedown. Kat Zingano is nobody to, to tangle with really seriously. And that's when I knew when the fight first started in the first round, I wasn't sure because Kat Zingano was looking, you know, she kind of, she oftentimes looks very unathletic. Oftentimes she comes in and she looks a little bit unathletic, like she's moving around and she's kind of, you know, just kind of moving around. But she, it looks like she's not really setting anything up or anything, but she's literally just moving around. But then it all comes together with those takedowns. And I thought, if I see a slick takedown, then I know that she's back. There are certain things that happen in her life that she will never be able to get over. She just has to understand what happened, get and develop herself moving forward. Just move forward with that and try to be the best that she can be, basically, you know. So that's what I was hoping to see. I was hoping to see her be able to focus 
despite everything from the past, you know, despite all of that, despite the losses in the octagon and out the outside the octagon. So she did that tonight. She really did. She was confident on the ground. You know, she was as confident as she could be because Marin Reno is a serious threat on the ground. She absolutely is a serious threat. Her guard is lethal. Her guard is absolutely lethal. She gets those legs up so quickly. And she always keeps this really, really high guard on, on your back. You can feel her just threatening you the whole time. So you saw Kat Zingano keep, you know, that great head position. If you go back and watch the fight, she had excellent head position on the ground. She was still able to land ground and pound, but she kept her head pressed into the chin of Marion Reno. She kept her chest into the chest of Marion Reno to make sure that she couldn't get those legs up. But, you know, Kat Zingano has those long limbs that she's able to put an elbow over the top, put a, um, you know, some ground and pound in terms of punches over the top. She's just that good. She's just that good. Trust me, old Alpha Cat Zingano was something, she was a sight to be seen inside the cage. Before the skid, she really was a sight to be seen inside the cage. Her takedowns were so slick. I mean, probably the best takedowns that I have ever seen in women's MMA. For me, I'll just say for me, best takedown. But, you know, I could go on and on and on and on about this fight. I'm so happy for Kat Zingano for her to get this win, get back into the win column. And she took no time to go ahead and, like, do a, you know, she did a little shy call out of Amanda Nunes. Kat Zingano isn't much of an S talker. She's kind of like a nice fighter. She'll bring aggression, aggression just for the sake of, like, the cameras. But she doesn't, she's not aggressive you know, outside of the octagon. But she did a little weak call out of Amanda Nunes, weak little call out. She said, anybody can get it. I need to avenge my losses. That means she's coming for, that That was a call out for a couple of people. She said, hey, look, Juliana Pena, I'm coming for you. Ketlin Vieira, I'm coming for you. Ronda Rousey. That L is, is itched in concrete at this moment, so you can't give that one back, Cat. But, you know, you can go in there and get those two L's back and I, I want to see it because you need, you do need to take a fight before you fight Amanda Nunes. That's just real because the way that Marion Reno was cracking you, 10 times worse with Amanda Nunes, straight up. Anyways, congrats to Alpha Cat Zingano. Welcome back to the win column. Hit that subscribe button. 